In this video, we are going to discuss a previous gate problem related to signal flow graph. So here you can observe the problem here. The signal flow graph of a system is shown in figure. The transfer function C of S divided by R of S of the system is. This is the signal flow graph given. By this signal flow graph, we need to derive the transfer function of the system or total gain of the system. So we know that the transfer function is nothing but C of S by R of S where C of S is the output transform and R of S is the input transform. Now if you observe the signal flow graph, whenever signal flow graphs are given, bulky signal flow graphs are given, I use it to say you need to use Masson's gain formula. So here the Masson's gain formula to calculate the transfer function or total gain of the system is equal into 1 by delta summation k pk into delta k where k represents the number of forward paths. So you can see how many number of forward paths are there. So here you are having a shortest forward path from R of S to C of S. This is one path. So this is one path. Don't treat this as your another path. Why? Because forward path is the path from input to output without touching a node more than once. More than once you can't touch a node. If you consider this path, here also you are having a path. So like this also you are having a path. But we can't take that as a forward path. Why? Because at node number 2 you are touching twice in that path. So by travelling like this you are touching this node and by travelling like this you are touching again. So we can't consider that as forward path. Only whatever the shortest path is there, that shortest, shortest path <coughs> we are going to consider like forward path. So in this formula as k is equivalent to number of forward paths, we are having only one forward path. That's why I am going to modify this formula like P1 delta 1 divided by delta. Coming to P1, P1 is the forward path gain. Delta 1 is nothing but 1 minus. So I am writing equation for delta 1. 1 minus sum of loop gains. Sum of loop gains which are not touching to first forward path. So this is the equation for delta 1 where P1 is the first forward path gain. So you can see this first forward path here the gain is 1 here the gain is 1. So P1 is equivalent to 1 into 1 is equivalent to 1. So now P1 is equivalent to 1 and delta 1 coming to delta 1 1 minus is there any loops which are not touching to your first forward path. So this is your first forward path and is there any loops means yes we are having some loops which are not touching this path. If you consider this shortest path as your forward path so you are having three loops here so this is one loop and this is another loop and this is another loop. So totally we are having through three loops. Is there any loops which are not touching this path means this loop is touching, this loop at this node it is touching this forward path but coming to these two nodes you can see these two loops, these two loops are not touching this forward path. So that is why in this formula we need to consider 1 minus sum of that non-touching loop gains. So this loop gain is minus 3 by 5 that means 1 by s into minus 3 that is s actually 1 by s into minus 3. So that means 1 minus minus 3 by s and here the gain of this loop is 6 into 1 by s into minus 4. So that is minus 24 divided by s. So that is delta, your delta 1. So my p1 value is 1 and my delta value delta 1 value is like this. Coming to delta, I am writing the equation for delta that is according to Masson's gain formula delta is equivalent to 1 minus sum of all loop gains, sum of all loop gains plus sum of 
two non touching loops two non touching loops plus sum of three non touching loops plus sum of four non touching loops like that we are going to get in this formula coming to delta so one minus how many loops are there we are having three loops so all the three loops we need to consider in summation so that means this loop gain this loop gain is 1 by s into minus 2 so minus 2 by s plus another loop gain this is another simple loop so minus 3 by s will be the gain of this loop 1 by s into minus 3 again we are having another loop that is 6 into minus 4 into 1 by s so minus 24 by s will be its loop gain so i consider sum of all loop gains next thing is to consider sum of two non touching loops in the given loops is there any non touching loops yes we are having non touching loop weights two non touching loop weights if you consider this first loop and this is a second loop this is a third loop if, if you observe this first loop and second loop it's these two loops are not having common nodes so these two loops are said to be non touching loops so that non touching loop pair we need to consider here is there any other non touching loops means 1 and 3 are touching in, in this node 2 and 3 are touching here so there is no other pairs only one pair is there so sum of two non touching loops place we will get only one pair so that one pair we need to consider how we will take the gain of non touching loops means multiplication of these two gains we need to consider there that means minus 2 by s into minus 3 by s so 6 by s square will be your total gain of two non touching loops so now this is your transfer function now you need to simplify this transfer function and you need to equate with the options given so observe here so this is equal into 24 plus 3 27 so 1 plus 27 so here the denominator is common so 24 plus 3 27 minus of minus i am taking this as plus 27 by s divided by so 1 minus so here i am having 2 by s 3 by s 24 by s so totally 29 by s minus 29 by s so minus of minus i am considering like plus so plus 29 by s plus 6 by s square so now i am taking cross multiplication so s plus 27 by s divided by one s square i can take as common denominator so s square plus 29 s plus 6 by s square so i can take cancellation of this s with s square the resultant is s into s plus 27 divided by s square plus 29 s plus 6 this will be your resultant transfer function if you see d option will be the right option for this gate problem this is given for two marks in one of the years related to gate so that's why signal flow graphs have that that much importance in control systems so by using masson's gain formula you can easily find the transfer function of any signal flow graph